Hey everyone, it's Steve Harris at Muse Themes. The template you're looking at right now is called Muse Folio, and it's one of our most popular templates because it's got this really slick navigation bar. So as you can see, when I scroll down, the navigation actually kind of fades into place and then it stays pinned along the top. It looks great on the site. However, when it comes to editing the Muse file, it can be really difficult. The reason is because Muse always shows elements that have an opacity scroll effect at what their key position is set. So if the key position is set at 0% opacity, in the design view in Muse, you're not gonna be able to see those elements. And the way that this menu works is when you scroll down, you actually have a completely separate menu that kind of comes into place and it's pinned to the top. So you'll have to edit two separate items to be able to make this work. Let me show you how it works in Muse, that'll make a lot more sense. So if we jump into Muse, as always, the menu will be contained on the master page of the site. So we need to double click into this master area. So the first thing you're probably going to want to do is change page names. And the tendency is always to click on these items to try and change them. But just remember that you need to change the names in the plan view. We use those automatic menu widgets. So if I change this one to gallery and go back, you can see that in the master page, it's already updated there. So that's easy to do. Okay, so the next thing we need to look at is how to kind of extract that menu, that hidden menu from behind and make it visible so we can go ahead and edit it. You'll notice that if you kind of mouse over this area, you have a couple of different elements. There's a rectangle, and if we click that rectangle, you can see it has scroll effects applied. We've got this kind of T handle here. Let's move that out of the way. And now if we go up again, we've got this group and the group actually looks like it'd be this logo and social media icons. But if you click on it and actually drag it down, you can see those don't move. And that's because this is that hidden group that's kind of floating behind the main navigation. Now, the problem is you can't see these to be able to edit them. So what I'd recommend is that with this group selected, we go to our scroll effects panel and where it says opacity and the key position, which is kind of the center position on here, let's just change that to 100. There, and so now everything becomes visible. We're going to have to set that back before we publish up the site, but this at least brings it up so you can go ahead and work with it all. The next thing that you need to pay attention to as well is that if you select this group, you can see that up here in the main navigation bar, it's pinned, and it's pinned to the center and top of the browser window. So what I'd recommend now is you can go ahead and style this in any way that you want. So you could right click on this logo, click replace image, and you could select a new image. I won't go ahead and do that right now, but you can click on the social media icons and you can apply new links to them. Right now it's just going to Muse Themes pages, but of course you'd want to go to all your own social media links. And we'll go ahead and you can style this menu any way you want. So you could click on an item, change the text style, of course. Let's just change it real quick to something different. Okay, so now that that one's changed, of course it looks odd, but we won't worry about that for the purpose of this demo. Let's go ahead and select this all again. Go to scroll effects. Actually, sorry, we need to select just this group, not that back box. And once the group's selected, let's just click zero on the key position so it's hidden again and we need to move this all back up into place so we'll move the box up first and then now the group grab that and move that up as well there so now when we preview the page in the browser you can see that our menu looks normal and if we scroll down the menu comes into place or the hidden menu comes into place and you can see it's got that slightly different text down the first item and if we swapped out the logo uh, of course that would be different as well so remember you need to change the logo in two different places if you're going to use this template and the easiest way to do that is just to click into the image frame right click and select replace image so that's how you can access the muse folio menu it's kind of complicated and it's a little bit uh, difficult to understand because things are hidden and that's a kind of a weird decision in Muse to make that unable to view without setting the opacity to 100 but this is an easy way to get around it. If you continue to have any problems with Muse Folio be sure to send us a note to our support team and we'll get them fixed up right away for you. Thanks again.